Hi everyone! In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to check if a point lies on a line for vectors. So what do you mean by that? So that means a point is not like just a normal equation of y equals to mx plus c. This will be, I'm using y equals to mx plus c as an analogy. So like your point of vectors, you want to see whether it lies on a vector equation of a line. So what do you mean by that? Let's take a look at some examples. So you want to see whether the line does it lie on the line through the line passing through minus 2, 1, 1, 0 and 5, 10, minus 1 and 4? So what do we do first? We learned already that we must find the component form. So in other words, the component form is actually the direction vector for the line. So first, initial point minus, this is the initial point, this is the terminal point. So direction vector, we Terminal point minus the initial point will give me this, which is 7, 9, uh, minus 2, and 4. So, the line is comprised of vectors in the set. The initial point, minus 2, 1, 1, 0, and 7, 9, minus 2, and 4. <laughs> in other words, my vector equation of the line can be written as this. R equals to minus 2, 1, 1, 0, plus A, 7, 9, minus 2, and 4. So this is just like a Y equals to M, M, X plus C. M the gradient because you minus it. So, now we plug in our point. So, 1, 0, 2, 1 equals to this. And hence, we do the expansion again. From the first row, you get this, 1 equals to minus 2 plus 7a. So you, from the first row, you get a equals to 3 over 7. And from the second row, you, you we get 0 equals to 1 plus 9a. So 9a equals to minus 1 over 9. a equals to minus 1 over 9. And for the third row, you get 2 equals to 1 minus 2a. Hence, a equals to minus half. And now from the last row, you get 1 equals to 4a. Hence, a equals to 1 quarter. So if you notice, the values of a are not consistent across all these rows. Hence, we can say that the point does not lie on the line. So next time, if we know how, if we are given like this, we just do the same thing. If should the A be consistent across all the rows? Therefore, the point lies on the line. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.